do not read the, the Quran and interpret it. We read the interpretation of Muslim scholars of the Quran, Ibn Kathir, Tibri, Qurtub, Jalain. And my advice to the Muslim outside there, when you read the passage of the Bible, Old Testament or New Testament, read the Bible and read the commentary of the Bible, the Christian and the Jew, so you would get to the true picture of what the Bible is talking about. There is no slavery in the Bible. Uh, and even as I look in the last passage I have in my hand here in uh, Philemon, uh, we know from the Bible, and I will close with this, that uh, uh, Paul was writing to Philemon about his slave, Anasimus. And he said what? Take him as a brother. He's going to work for you as a brother. I want to keep him with me. I want to keep Anasimus to help me. He is my son. He, I, I burst him in my chain, but he will come to know. He's good for you. He's good for me. And take him as a brother in the Lord. And even though a verse like that, we cannot say that, oh, Paul allowed Philemon to have slave. No, this slave, he already got paid the six years. I don't believe Paul was a, a, a whole or a, of a slavery like we see in the history, the new history of America as happened 200 years ago. But obviously, Paul was a man who knows the scripture. Amen. He knows the law. Yes. He knows the six years of work. And he want uh, and it seems to go work, finish his job, finish his time with uh, Philemon, who is also a believer who owned this person to work for. Amen. Amen. We need to go to Ted uh, Shabbat. Brother Ted, thank you so much for being on the show. You have uh, two minutes, if you would like now, to just summarize. I know you won't be with us later tonight or tomorrow. We're going to continue this subject. But what do you want our viewers to hear, ultimately, concerning this subject of slavery in Islam, and accused to be in Christianity, and, and what's the bottom line here? What we need to understand is that what Jesus told us, he said, that we must be as wise as serpents and as innocent as doves. And my point is that we need to read about the other isms, the other philosophies, the other ideologies, to understand that Islam is not the only um, the pagan ideology out there, and that we, and the world, has dealt with many other isms out there. We've dealt with Nazism, Communism, um, the French Revolution, Socialism. Uh, the Vikings, all of these things the world has already dealt with, and they are, they are all very similar to Islamicism. And what we must understand is that in order to understand the devil, we must look at all of his ideologies and see that they, you know, we all know that they're evil, we all know that they preach evil things, but they are all very parallel. They all really mm -hmm. teach the same thing. They all really have the same concepts. Mm -hmm. And we must understand is that you know, Islam, um, just like all the other isms out there, preaches for world dominance, for world government. And just, just uh, last week, uh, in, in the news, the AP reported that a Pakistani Islamic cleric by the name of Maluna Yusuf Qureshi is offering a bounty of $6,000 to whoever catches a Christian woman uh, by the name of Asiya Bibi for blasphemy oh, oh. Islam. They want her head. And what's going on in the Islamic world today is basically the same thing that was going on in France during the French Revolution. People were being beheaded because they were against the cause. It's the same thing with the Muslim world. Well, see, it's even more interesting is that in Pakistan, just last week, Pakistan introduced a law to, to the United Nations that they want the United Nations to adopt. And that is a, 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 a universal blasphemy law in which it will prosecute anybody who blasphemes, they say religion, but in reality it's anybody who blasphemes Islam. It's Pakistan that's doing this. Why? Because they want everybody to collectively follow the same laws and that's not what god preaches in the, in the old testament it talks about shinar when everybody was united everybody had the same language everybody was one tribe but god scattered those people and made different tribes he made nationalism he made individualism he made individuality you must understand is that all of satan's doctrines preach against individuality <laughs> and only in, individual freedom is only really found under christ's uh, uh, law under christ's word Amen, Ted. Amen, Ted. Amen, Ted. Amen, Ted. We're going to stop right there. I'm sorry to cut you off, but that's a strong place to stop. That is only found under Christ. And as you pointed out, you know what Jesus says, you'll know the truth in John chapter 8, verse 32, and the truth will set you free. And if the Son sets you free, you'll be free indeed. Amen. Brother Ted, thank you so much for being on the show. I hope to do more shows with you in the future. You've got a lot to share. God has gifted you. You're a young man, and uh, my goodness, just wait another 20 years. He, he'll be... Uh, Maybe you'll get on MSNBC. You'll straighten those folks out with God's help. Thank you, Brother Osama. Thank you. We'll, we'll be back together at 11 p.m. Well, to continue well. this presentation. Amen. And we'll be starting to move into Islam and slavery before the end of the night, right? 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what's a little bit. With God's help. Amen. All right. Well, we're going to go to Brother Bruce, who has technically only one minute left to share with you the needs of ABN. Brother Osama and I will be back with you at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's go to Brother Bruce. And when he's done, we'll be done. We'll be back at 11 right here. Jesus or Muhammad. In the meantime, an Arabic show after this one. Go ahead, Brother Bruce. Thank you, Pastor Joseph. And thank you, folks, for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation of Jesus or Muhammad Marathon. I want to share you just a little history. ABN started over 20 years ago with a, a vision to uh, spread the gospel to all the Chaldean uh, people of the world. Six years ago, that vision expanded to preach to the Arabic peoples. And uh, just now, just this last few months, God has expanded that vision again to reach the English-speaking peoples of the world. You know, just six months ago, our viewership on abnsat.com was under 400,000 viewers. And today it is over 2 million viewers. Folks, we are on the end of a great explosion. We invite you to be a part of that. I want to pray with you and uh, just, I believe the Bible, what it says, Give and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Whatever measure you give, it shall be given back to you. We thank you for watching. We pray for your uh, support. You can write us, call us uh, at 248-416-1300. And we desperately need your help. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.